Ye is the most dangerous player in professional Valorant. Here are three main things that set El Diablo's aim apart from most other pros. Number one, extremely accurate pre-aiming. Yeah, yeah, I know, Crosshair placement is always getting talked about in these kinds of videos, but check out how Ye takes ramp control here on Split. He doesn't miss a single commonly held angle as he checks each one individually with a quick strafe out and back into cover before peeking the next one. Pro players are all generally pretty good at this, but El Diablo's commitment to proper angle checking is beyond the norm. It's clear that he has created a very deliberate practice of clearing angles over time and has learned exactly where enemy heads might appear on nearly every single part of every map. Accurate pre-aiming makes Valorant so much easier to play and reduces the amount of surprise or random gunfights that you end up taking. It also means that you have to be very dedicated in your focus and avoiding autopilot while running around the map at all costs. Number two, his aim adjustments are calm and smooth. It's impossible to predict when and where an enemy player will appear with 100% accuracy. This obviously means that you will have to make mechanical adjustments with your crosshair to re-aim properly as someone appears on your screen. When most players get surprised by an opponent, it usually looks something like this. Ye, on the other hand, has some of the smoothest micro adjustments I have ever seen, and this leads to consistently winning aim duels even when the other player gets the first shot off. Ye mentioned on stream that he tends to use his forearm to aim, and this combined with a lower than average EDPI makes his crosshair movement minimal and very, very deliberate. You can see his adjustments are quite small, and he rarely overcorrects by too much after starting to shoot. I also noticed that Ye tends to use the movement of enemies and his own strafing to do a lot of his aim adjustments. This keeps his aim steady while also allowing him to often sidestep right as a duel starts to avoid the first shot accuracy of his opponents. Number three, he almost never sprays. Discipline seems to be a big factor in Ye's success, which is funny because of how wildly aggressive he appears to be playing on Jet. However, if you watch his stream or pay close attention during pro matches, you'll notice how rare it is to see him commit to a spray. This is extra important due to his consistent use of the Vandal. It has been talked about many times at this point that spraying in Valorant is generally a bad habit, but Ye's devotion to tapping shots or short bursts is incredible to watch. Not only does this keep him mobile while taking gunfights, since he strafes in between short bursts, but it means that a higher percentage of his shots are going straight to where he is aiming. Controlling the random spray patterns in Valorant has been a touchy subject for a lot of Counter-Strike players, and Ye simply avoids this by basically never spraying. It's extremely rare to see him use more than five or six bullets at a time, and this has an added but very useful benefit of rarely needing to reload, even with the Vandal's smaller magazine. Another perhaps unappreciated benefit of this style of shooting is that it actually translates really well between weapons from the Vandal or Phantom over to Bladestorm, which only has five knives until you get a kill or the Sheriff's six bullet limit. So this deliberate approach to shooting with the rifles actually trains you to be better with the other weapons as well. I also found it kind of hilarious that Ye said he doesn't really aim train and doesn't even DM that much. He basically just plays the game. So what we're seeing is somebody who has just taken a very deliberate approach to getting better every single time he touches the mouse. The mindset and in going into rank that I think like really just anything, how you need to approach your mindset is simple. So you should not care about whether or not you're winning or losing. Winning or losing is like completely irrelevant to like actually whether or not you're growing as like a person. What what de what determines if you're growing is if you're you're learning and you're starting to see like more consistent results. Like maybe your aim legs a little bit sharper or like you like learn something new from that game or something you need to work on or practice.